3X Lex, Triple X back in the building. All right, guys, been a while. I'm back. I haven't had much time to shoot video or make videos for the company. My apologies, been very, very busy. Um, I'm here today because I wanted to just do a quick uh, show and tell for the uh, new 40 inch mini which is right here. This is the 40 inch Demon Slayer Mini. It's in a full operation since the marquee I gotta still pop in, but everything else is working. Uh, hey, the unit is badass, man. It's, it's more affordable, it's smaller. For you guys that haven't been paying attention or haven't seen any of my past videos, the Demon Slayer, the difference between the Demon Slayer and the Dragon Slayer, essentially, is the Demon Slayer comes in a 40 and a 43 inch. It uses a more affordable, cheaper 1080p display instead of the, the usual 4K TCL display. So the picture quality is slightly inferior, but the cabinet is more affordable. Is the cabinet is definitely much more affordable. This cabinet is going to be twelve fifty. Uh, you get a forty inch cabinet. Uh, it still has the two foot deep control panel, and that's something that I really like and uh, something that I'm a real big fan of. Uh, all of the arcades, uh, the forty three forty. 50 and the 55 have two feet control panels and they work well. They're 24 inches deep. Uh, the 58, the Platinum Knight, I'm still reworking a few things with that cabinet. You'll see that debut pretty soon. Very soon. Uh, I want to test a three foot control panel on that because the two foot on that one works but i want to experiment with something a little bit bigger for that one so keep your eyes open for that but back to the 40 mini yeah hey the the 40 mini is great uh the cool thing is i went with 40 because it's not much more expensive to build the 40 versus a 32 inch and you get an eight inch bigger screen and most importantly uh the cabinet is uh eight inch wider so you get an eight inches more of um, cabinet width. So four players work great on this cabinet. It is definitely wide enough. It's wide enough to have four players and a trackball. You can still fit a, a flight stick to the front. You have a lot of versatility with this cabinet. It's super affordable. Anybody should be able to afford this. And uh, it's, it's badass. So... You definitely want to keep your eyes out for that. Uh, I've reworked a lot of things, so you're going to start seeing more videos come out pretty soon explaining the uh, contents of uh, what's coming with what, etc. So, anyway, that's the 40. I've been tolling away on that. And over here, you got the 55. Now, this one's pretty much done, sans the uh, marquee needing to be popped in. But uh, hey, this 55 is just awesome, man. It's got a two foot control deck. It's super wide. I love it, to be perfectly honest with you. Whoa, forgot I had this here. To be perfectly honest with you, I love it. It's fantastic. It works great. Big, bright, bold images. With the control deck being two feet, you don't feel like you're too close to it either. And uh, it just works well. And it's fantastic for four players. So also new, and I want to announce this here. I'm going to be making a dedicated video pretty soon. But the original hybrid slayer that you seen uh that i showed off uh i want to say it was probably a couple months ago maybe a month and a half ago powered by all portable devices the laptops the tablets and everything that has been put on hold 
I've decided I wanted to delay that particular cabinet and package. There are some things I want to rework with that. It works well, but there's a few things that I want to work out with that, spe specifically the control deck. Uh, I have something more in mind with um, integrating the tablets into the actual deck itself so it will be more user in intuitive. So that's going to be delayed. But what's available right now, in addition to the standard arcade and all of the sizes, is I have a different hybrid option available here. That's, that was the portable hybrid option powered by all portable devices for that particular cabinet. This one, this is a different hybrid option I have here. This is available now. Uh, essentially, what this is going to consist of is basically it's three PCs in one cabinet. So essentially, you have your retro emulation PC. You have a dedicated PC for gaming productivity, Battle.net, Steam, Valorant, all of that stuff, any YouTube music video streaming, productivity you want to do. Uh, also included is two wireless keyboards. And number three, a third PC, it's an Android-based PC. So that's what you're seeing here. This is a dedicated Android-based PC. It's extremely powerful. It's powered by the new Rock Chip, the 3588. It's got eight gigs of RAM, and it's extremely powerful for an Android-based device. Uh, it's a dedicated PC, though. This isn't a tablet, so I want to be clear with that. Uh, it has a ton of apps already uh, installed. Uh, Google Play Store standard. Uh, so you can pretty much go to the Play Store and uh, just start downloading games. All of the content, well, most of the content on the, on the Play Store is free as, if you've been following my channel, you pretty much know the deal with the mobile games. Most of this stuff is free. So you can go on there, download those things. Uh, I've downloaded a lot of my favorite games. Uh, a lot of games work great. There are some games that have that don't have controller support. That is the one catch. The game has to have controller support. The games that don't have controller support, some will work with a, a additional keyboard and mouse setup. Some simply won't work. But there are still thousands of games pretty much for free that work great. Unkilled, uh, Streets of Rage, Shadow Fighter, um maximus 2 blackmore of course maximus 2 so without further ado you got maximus 2 here and um it boots up fast so again this is a triple platform setup so you're going to have three pcs in one cabinet and in addition to that In addition to that, this hybrid system also includes a seven inch handheld tablet. Um, this tablet works fantastic. This is something that I've newly gotten in and have been testing and it works great. Uh, this is the tablet here. It works great. You're going to see a dedicated video to that soon. I'm going to be showing that off. But uh, this has this is preloaded with about 6,000 games. You'll be getting this with the hybrid version in addition to the, the three PCs that's included. Uh, it comes with 6,000 games. It works great with uh, H over HDMI connected to the arcade. Uh, it work it has full controller support. So it works with the wireless controllers, the wired controllers. And if you want to hook this to directly to your arcade, if you started playing a game uh, on PlayStation or 
Super Nintendo or anything, and you, you've taken this on the road. Uh, it has built-in controllers, as you can see also on the side. So in addition to that, if you want to come back and plug this into your arcade and finish playing, you can do that. It works well. So I'm going to have a video showing that off. I don't want to make this video 40 minutes showing off everything, but I'm going to definitely get to that really soon. Uh, it works great, though. So decently powerful. It'll emulate up to PlayStation, the original PlayStation. So all platforms up to that and below work great. Has 6,000 games. So it's a great addition to this particular package. So this hybrid option essentially adds a dedicated PC for gaming and productivity, a dedicated Android-based PC for Google Play Store, Android TV, etc., and a 7-inch portable gaming handheld. So that's what the hybrid option adds to this current hybrid op option, standard hybrid option adds to this particular cabinet. So that option is going to be 250 on top of what the standard price is. So for, for example, the standard price for this particular 40 inch mini over here is uh, 1250. When you add in those particular um, other options and turn this cabinet into a hybrid cabinet, the price increase is 250. So this particular model as a hybrid will be 1500. So you get, it'd be powered by three PCs and the handheld. So you essentially will have four platforms in one. Everything works great. I've been testing it. A few, few uh, friends have stopped by. We've gotten a chance to test a lot of things. Uh, enjoy four player games. Works great. Handheld works great. Everything works great. Extremely happy. Oh yeah, before I get out of here, one other addition that I've made that works fantastic is This particular, uh, what I've essentially done is uh, I've added cooling pads. I'm gonna show those off in another video so I can get some close up video of it. But I've added cooling pads. I went with the uh, Cooler Master X Lite 2. This is a fantastic uh, cooling pad. I've pretty much added that to all of my bills. It's lowered the temperature on all of the PCs tenfold. Like, temperatures are down about 20 degrees across the board. Way longer PC longevity. Uh, it's more safe to leave these running constantly without having to worry about the systems running hot or overheating. Anytime you're emulating a game or playing a game, whether you're on the PC side, or you're on um, the Android side or the emulation side, if you're running a game, the PC is working extra hard to emulate or run that game. So we want to keep temperatures down as low as possible. So additional cooling has been added to the cabinet. So I wanted to let you guys know that um, in, in both the standard and the hybrid version. Anyway, guys, that's a quick update as for what's going on with 3X Tech. Uh, expect many more videos to come soon. Um, thank you for your patience. I know you guys have been uh, waiting for more videos and more information with the company. Well, I'm here to let you know that uh, we're here. We're here to rock and roll. So, hey, guys, without further ado, this is uh, 3X Tech. I'm 3X Lex, and that's all I got for you. Peace.